Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. This time you're back to us, Asha Otorimeka, whose real name is Uluwa Tony Adebola, strongly berate our colleagues for doing this. Over the years, we've seen many actors who many presume are wealthy and even hear of the news of them acquiring several assets. However, many years down the line, they fall sick and become financially handicapped. Then, they start begging the public for funds, and Nigerians have to donate for their treatments. Asha Otorimeka says this is totally inappropriate. According to her, actors are supposed to be mindful of the number of kids they give birth to, and properly train these kids so that in the days of their old age, these kids will be able to stand for them. And she says that may God not allow us to get seriously sick. Please. Amongst newscasters, are there not people who get terribly ill? Don't nurses fall sick? Why are they not publicizing this? Why are we begging everywhere for everything? Why do we believe so much that our fans are the ones in trouble and have to donate for us? She has sparked a massive debate and lots of Nigerians are talking on this. These are some of the reactions of Nigerians who are speaking on this topic. The social media user with a handle, Lao Fav, commented and said, Thank you so much, Mama. You warm my heart to this. All those people, that is all they are looking for. Once they sell out a movie, what they are looking for is another wife or a woman friend. Many of these people that died without good treatment, if they have one or two children well-raised and educated, many of these politicians would have helped them with job placement, even if it is an exchange for adverts. When you marry many women, trust me, no second wife married you for love and will never wait or help you in trouble except they can see that you still have hope of getting money. Always be content. Some of you saying if you want to enjoy marry two women, I pity your old age, learn from those who have gone. Another social media user with a handle, Young Talks, also added, this mommy has spoken well. May God bless you, man. Because of the youth of nowadays, most of us, because we've let the internet and trying to consume us and already affecting our future without knowing it. Meanwhile, we are the most lucky generation. We make money from the internet, we work at home and earn good money. We work stressless and get paid. Yes, we lavish all this money and abuse it. But I pray God help everyone. Baruch has also added, exactly what I do to all people. How will you need assistance and you think it's the responsibility to do it? When you were fine and healthy, who did you help? If you help people, I'm very sure when you need help, they will come through. You won't force them. These people have their relatives and family too. Not only them know how they are coping. This called also added, well said man, God bless you for us. I always ask myself whenever I see young actors, praying musicians, man, that's where are they getting it? I'm not saying it is bad though, but you hardly see the old and responsible actors spending their money anyhow. She read Sunday with what she just said, she has won my heart by following her handle. Wise short words. Another person added, I love you more, mommy, for this. It is too much for them. You people should take your personality away from social media, please. Dupa Bello, you guys should also have insurance. Do look for a reliable one and also do have life insurance. I think it will help. I don't care, Kindly, white words. Thank you very much, ma. Zenab Ayakunle, she said it all. Lots of Nigerians are reacting on this interview and they are saying that she's speaking their mind according to them. And a lot of them are agreeing with her. Nuya Adibela is not a newbie in the entertainment industry. She has been with us for several decades. Even though she was a civil servant, a technician with the then television service of Oyo State, TSOS, now BCOS. This was when she was invited to be part of a John Buru by Alad Batubosun or Dusi. He noticed that during some of their in-house drama productions at the TV station, when she co-presented a popular children's show, Fadbo Yo, with Larry Ajewumi. It was also while at BCOS that she was invited to be part of Asha Remeka, one of the first home movie productions to be shot. A John Buru was an optical movie. When she got on the set of Asha Remeka, she was just told what to do. She had no idea what it would come out to be. And it came out and people received it so much. It brought her fame. 
So she has been active in this movie industry since the year 1984, entertaining us decade after decade. This year she's 60 years old. For those of you who ask, who is Tony Adibola? Please stay with us. For a short biography on this star you're back to, Tony Adibola, making many Nigerians react on this topic. Tony Adibola, her full name is Uluwa Tony, Uluwa Remileku Adibola. She was born on 28th of December 1961. She was born in Ocean State in Nigeria. She's probably called Toyin Ashewo Tore Mecca. She's a Nigerian film actress, producer, and a director who is known for being active in the Yoruba sector of Nollywood. She's a member of the board of the Ocean State Arts and Culture Council. She's a popular face in the Nollywood sector. She's known for the movies Ashewo Tore Mecca and Ayitale. She has won several awards and nominations over the years. She was also given the Professional Excellence Award from Symbol of Hope Foundation for performance in Ashewo Tori Mecca. She's one of those star veterans who have given it all to this profession. In fact, during a radio interview program in Ibadan, the Oyo State's capital, she spoke on how she was involved in an accident which is part of the hazards of this job. And she sustained an injury which almost led to the amputation of her leg. She stated that God saved and sustained her as she did not have any underlying medical issues that could have triggered the amputation of her leg. She further added that the ethics and love of the profession, which he says the show must continue, made her to return to the location the following day. Even though she spent about four months nursing the injury, she also used the opportunity to reveal why she was not interested. She also used the opportunity to speak a little about her personal life. Tonya Adibola was formerly married to a journalist, Mr. Anthony Kolawoli Adibola, who sadly passed on. She met her late husband when she was working in the television house in Bala. At that time, Mr. Adibola was working at NTA Lagos. They have three children together. However, this star actress refused to remarry. She did not remarry after so many years. And she mentioned in that interview that she rather decided to concentrate on her children. According to her, she was married to her children. She had to focus fully on them and rather use all her time and money to nurse them. And in her words, blood runs in my vein. It is a decision I have made for myself. She has not been married. She's one of the star actresses who are still pumping since the 80s in the Yoruba sector of Nollywood. So this is a little bit about the star actress Tony Adibola and we have come to the end of this episode where Tony Adibola berates her colleagues and speak on them asking for funds when in sickness. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for daily content.